You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you, you guys. So, as you guys probably already know, I am reading and reviewing the series by Beverly Lewis called Home to Hickory Hollow. I have already reviewed three books of the five book series, and the, this is the fourth book in the series. It is called The Secret Keeper, and here is what that one is about. So, um, there's this woman. Her name is Jenny Burns. And she has been told from an early age that she is an old soul. And she loves things that are old-fashioned. And there comes a point in her life that she is not happy with the way things are. Um, she is not impressed with the fast-paced life anymore. She is... She loves... The simple life. And no one is prepared for the, the young woman's decision to set aside her modern life in favor of the old order Amish world. Yet Jamie does exactly that, adapting, adopting plain dress and setting with Samuel, Samuel and Rebecca Lapp while she works as a mother's helper for the bishop's wife, a far cry from her former job as an x-ray technician. The people of Hickory Hollow are curious about this beautiful young seeker among them. One handsome Amish man in particular, but he is not the only one vying for Jenny's affections. And Jenny faces the many challenges in the proving time the brethren have set for her. Challenges of the heart as well as the spirit. Will Jenny's secrets keep her from the peace she longs for? Or will they lead the way home? So, um... Obviously, this is a change for her. Um, the Amish are pretty old-fashioned, like I said before. Um, they travel by horse and buggy. They don't. They have like a community phone. They don't use it very much. Um, they obviously some of them have cell phones. Some of them don't. Um, they work on the farm. They obviously have to learn how to do all kinds of things, um, depending on what their family dynamic is. Because if this lady is a widow, then maybe neighboring farms might help out with the plowing or other things. Um, so this is a gigantic switch for her. And... As the other books in the series, um, I mentioned that they speak Pennsylvania Dutch. But in this book, I found out that they have German words as well. And luckily for her, Jenny, she took a couple years of German in high school. So she already knew some, but she didn't know a lot. And the older you get, it is harder for a, a, a person to learn a new language and she's having to speak to everyone in English but she's picking up words here and there and it's it's a learning experience she actually um, tries to hook up a horse to her cart or her um, yeah the little cart to ride around in and one occasion she actually loses the horse because she didn't um, buckle a strap or something like that and she gets discouraged sometimes but it is a great thing for her because she gets to experience life before cars life without a cell phone and just getting really down back to the basics of surviving and thriving in this 
new Amish community. So this book is 270 pages. It is 275 including a short epilogue. Um, as you guys know or may not know, an epilogue is what happens after the initial book happenings. And the epilogue's pretty cool. Um, it's 279 pages with everything because some authors do author's notes on the book that they want their readers to know about, you know, who helped them or who they were grateful for during the whole book writing publishing process. And so um, I was able to borrow this from the library. Um, it came as an ebook, and I found out it does have a Kindle edition, you guys. So it's it's not as expensive as maybe a hardcover, although on Amazon it seems like prices differ just a little bit because sometimes the hardbacks paperbacks cheaper and sometimes the Kindle book is a little more expensive. Um, I looked on the features of the ebooks and if you really want to you can pay a little bit extra for having it be an audiobook. So that's an interesting kind of trivia for you guys. Um, so this is a great book. Um, I am becoming a fan more and more of Beverly Lewis and to think I just came upon her by chance and that is something awesome. Um, so as I said, um, this is a five book series. Um, I have reviewed book four. Um, I will put a link down in the description below to where you guys can find it on Amazon um, and check it out. Um, I would recommend this book for just about anyone who is interested in um, fiction and maybe has a curiosity of the Amish. Um, Beverly Lewis is a great author. Um, so I think you guys should check it out and tell me what you think. Um, if you've read this book, did you like it? Did you hate it? Or does this review want you to motivate you to check it out? Um, let me know down in the comments. Um, have you read any books by Beverly Lewis? Do you want to? Um, let me know. Um, I think that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again tomorrow with another book review. Bye, guys.